It's 4 p.m. exactly. I just wanted to show you our solar for the day, and we do have normal stuff running in the house my computer, Ziggy's computer, all the security system. Now, I'll show you this. Okay, we've got five days redundancy at this rate. Um, we are getting enough solar in the carry. So we actually started the day at 97. So we did put solar in, but and I'm amazed, okay, and I'll tell you why in a minute. It has been this dark all day. Okay, let me let me put some my feet on. Okay, this is what it's been like all day. Now the camera's making it a bit lighter, that's GoPro for you. Okay. Now if this had been my lead acid bank, I would not have put, because of the internal resistance of the AGMs or any lead acid battery for that matter, I would not have put any power in today. And I would have gone into my redundancies already. Okay, my redundant power. That's why I put such big banks in, so I've got redundant power. And this, um, now remember me, AGMs, they were a thousand amp hour battery bank. All right, a thousand amp hour, but you could only take them down 50%. And that gave me three days redundancy. Now, these are so close. You know, they're so close to being full, they're showing as full here, but they're not. I showed you what they were inside. Um, but this is also only a 500 amp hour bank, but I can use all that. So I've still got my redundancies, my three days redundancies, um, which people, these have been, uh, Ziggy and I were talking about it, we just had some friends over as well, who are also putting in an off-grid system. Uh, they undecided about which way to go yet. Because like I say, I don't sell systems. I don't sell anything. Uh, people come look at my house and see what I run off-grid and the gear I use and after that, that's it. It's 100% their decision. So, um, but Ziggy and I are both blown away. Like, I know lithium batteries are good because we put them in the, in the camper trailer. Um, but I had absolutely no idea these would change our life the way they have. You know, um, just, they, they don't go down in volts past around 51 point whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, um, honestly, 100% uh, been a huge game changer. Um, with the lead acid batteries, when it's like this, uh, the missus would hop up in the morning and have a look at the iPad and decide whether or not to put the electric kettle on or put the kettle on the gas stove. All right, after, after, like we've had a whole night with no power and today there's been very little power, extremely low power and still the, age, the, the lithiums have not only done the job, but because of their, there is no internal resistance to them, They've also charged uh, more than I would expect, okay? And it's just, <coughs> excuse me, got a bit of a frog there. 
You know, they've, they've charged up from from 79 percent to 93 um, percent. And they're back up to 53.2 volts. And we're still putting power in, you know. Like, I got serious. I got almost 10 kilowatts of solar panels on my roof. And like I always tell people, panel for winter. All right? Panel for winter. That's, that's a huge game changer, people. A huge game changer is this lithium bank, as far as um, Ziggy and I are concerned. It has 100% totally blown our minds because we've been living off grid for lead, with lead acid batteries for a long time, a lot of years. Um, and look, if I'd have realised they were this damn good, I probably would have done it sooner. Um, mind you, I am glad we waited because it it gave the um, companies and the government uh, a good chance to sort out the rub the wheat from the chaff or the rubbish from the good stuff and uh, thankfully uh, most of the rubbish ones aren't allowed on the Australian market anymore and, and what's left is generally pretty bloody good all right so if you're looking at going off grid a hundred percent keep that in mind um, yeah, yeah, I mean, lithium batteries have just blown our mind, people, blown our mind. All right, keep safe, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, and please leave an emoji or a comment because it does help my channel grow. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, ring that little bell to make sure you get me, um, videos notifications okay keep safe and